Hi all, welcome back to our lecture series. This one's called orthogonal series expansion. Remember, you can't spell function approximation without fun. Let's return to our analogy with vector spaces. The unit vectors i, j, and k form what is called an orthonormal basis of three-dimensional Euclidean space. This means that for any vector u in the space, you can write u as a linear combination of the three vectors i, j, and k. i, j, and k are not the only orthogonal basis possible for three-dimensional space. Given any three orthogonal vectors, say v1, v2, and v3, you can still write any other vector u as a linear combination using the constants ci. We can calculate ci by taking the inner product of u and vi and dividing it by the norm squared of vi. Can we extend this concept of an orthogonal basis to spaces of functions? In other words, given an infinite set of orthogonal functions, say phi i, is it possible to write some other function, f of x, as an infinite sum of the orthogonal functions weighted by some constants, say ci? Spoiler alert, it totally is. Okay, now assuming that the set phi i is an infinite orthogonal set of functions on an interval a to b, let's try to find an infinite set of constants, ci, such that we can write any function f of x as an infinite sum of the multiplication of ci times phi i. We begin by taking the inner product, function f, with some member of the set, say phi n. Taking this inner product, we see that since we've assumed that we can write the function f of x as this infinite sum, we get an infinite sum of integrals where the constants c are out front. This sum of integrals is actually an infinite sum of the inner products of each member of the orthogonal set with the member phi n. By the definition of orthogonal functions, each member in this sum is equal to zero, except this one, which contains the inner product of phi n with itself. Then the inner product of the function f with phi n is equal to the constant cn times the inner product of the function phi n with itself, or, as we've already defined, cn times the square of the norm of phi n. Solving for the constant cn, we see that it's equal to the inner product of the function f and the function phi n divided by phi n's norm squared. We have therefore calculated the form of the constants so that the function f of x can be written as an infinite sum of these constants times the members of the orthogonal set. We then have an exact expression for f in terms of a convergent infinite series of weighted orthogonal functions. However, it's impossible to employ this exact expression in practice. Have you ever tried adding up infinitely many terms? It is therefore important to note that the sum of the first n terms of the series can be used as an approximation of f. This approximation becomes more and more accurate as n becomes large, or as you include more terms of the series. How can we apply this approximate form of function f? Well, suppose you have some linear non-homogeneous differential equation which is just too difficult to solve analytically. We can approximate the non-homogeneous function f to be any orthogonal series. Then, if we solve the subproblem where the non-homogeneous function is replaced by the orthogonal functions in our series, we can approximate the solution of the original problem as a finite sum of the weighted solutions to the subproblem. 
This is possible because of the linearity of the differential operator L. This is just one of the many infinite applications of the orthogonal series approximation.